Welcome down to South Sea and our only fair that comes down to Portsmouth every year. And it hasn't been in the last two years because of COVID, but uh, Carnival Fun Fairs are back in town with our stunning Twister and a few other rides that we don't see very often down here. There's something going on over there. I've, I really have no idea what's going on over there, to be honest with you. All the action for me is over here in the fair. I'm not going to be riding too much today. We just had a week in Wales, North Wales. And yeah, I'm exhausted, absolutely exhausted. We've been, we've done stupid like thousand miles over the last sort of five, six days. And it's the last day of the fair today as well. I missed the beginning of it because we were away, which is quite unusual. We're usually here for it, but really looking forward to getting to see the rise. We'll take some footage of you, uh, for you. We'll take some um, uh, footage as well from on ride. We'll do a couple of on ride ones. We're not going to do too many. A lot of these rides we've seen before. Uh, some of them have come down from up north. So we will get on those ones, particularly Wilson's Extreme. I'm quite looking forward to it. We've ridden rides here like Rock Rage, Tango, uh, Super Spin before, so it is quite a unique fair for Portsmouth. As I said, it's the only one that comes down here. So let's get inside, get on some rides. Now, starting back down the other end of the fair to show you some of the rides are here, we have a classic cage there. We have the KMG Speed, Speed, which is here. Uh, last time we saw that was down in Lansing a couple of years ago. Might, might have been even sooner. With this pandemic, I can say I completely lose track of time. Uh, we've got a Tagada here, we've got the Earthshaker Waltzer there as well. Funny enough, last time I saw that was on the back of a lorry going through Hedge End. Um, I can't remember the last time I rode it. Graveyard Express we haven't seen for a while. Master Blaster we saw not that long ago. That's had a lovely refurb recently and he's looking fantastic. Loads of juvenile rides down the middle. We've then got our, one of our favourite twisters there as well. Beautiful twisters, usually over the other side with coal. Um, but they're the ones that sort of uh, pioneer the carnival fun fairs. They'll go from here over to the Isle of Wight for an Isle of Wight tour with a few machines as well. Love that one, absolutely love that one. And it's got the backward cycle on today, as you can see as well. Uh, we then got Stokes Dodgems, haven't seen that in a while. Got Wolf Superstar, love that superstar. That's my favourite, it's not Kurtz. We did establish he prefers the Scarrots one, but I prefer that one. And then of course we have a road sale, we've got Star Flyer. And we've got the other rides down the bottom, including the Extreme, which we looked at on the way in. So we're not going to go on too much, to be honest with you, because my head is absolutely thumping. It really is thumping. But we are going to take you on some rides. So let me say, this is one of our favourite twisters. This thing is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And we missed out on it in Bogner because it's down here in South Sea. Yeah, and it is get ready, let's do one it. of the loudest twisters you'll ever go on as well. It's just so loud. But such a good one. Start with a lovely backwards cycle. Look at it, look. Looks stunning. I did a thought as well, you'd have two purple twisters in Portsmouth at the same time. Certainly not me. But this thing rides so well and you know my love. You know my love for padding on a twister. My love for padding on a twister is amazing. But I love this one. <laughs> oh. Woo. Woo. oh, I love this twister. I don't actually know this music either. I don't know it. Right. Now we go for a nice spin forwards as well. So that's the first time this twist has been. It's been a stable, the owner here has been a stable, as I said, arranges it all. It's been a stable here, but this is his new twist only debuted last year, and of course, South Sea wasn't open last year. There was no fair in Portsmouth last year. It's the most densely populated city in the country, Portsmouth, for square footage. No fun fair on the beach. Only sort of little rides for Victorious, which don't count because yeah, you can't take it. You can't go in. You can't go in. So it's great to see the fair back, and it's great to see the Twister back as well. And this one making its debut down here in Portsmouth. Oh, and I say it does just, it does just sort of go. Do do do. I still don't know what song is. Are you ready for the ultimate ride? Yeah, let's do it. Oh. Woo. Here we go. You can feel it, 
kicking in now. Oh, I've got some smoke as well. Who doesn't like smoke? Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I'll tell you what, you'll be able to hear this right the way across the fair. I'll tell you now, this is the loudest ride here. Undoubtedly the loudest ride here. And we got padding. I love the padding. Atmospheres at the fun fair, this one sums it up perfectly. A perfectly summed up atmosphere. You've got the gorgeous looking ride, you've got the wonderful lighting display, you've got the smoke machine, you've got the music, which is louder than any other ride here without a shadow of a doubt. Great ride cycle. This sums up the atmosphere at the fun fair. Love it. Stunning ride on the twister there. Here is Stokes Dodgems. And of course, a wall superstar. I have to say, we did hugely credit the frogs we've seen this year. Uh, Roland's one, and obviously the one we saw in London. A stunning run, the one we see in London is amazing. But the lighting package on this one is also incredible, absolutely incredible. But Wilson's Extreme is where I'm heading. It's not a ride I've done. I have to do it. I just have to do it. Love it. Not overly sure what it's called. Transformer, Extreme Danger. Either way, I've not done it. Look through the crowd here to look at this bad boy. It looks really baby-like. It looks really small. So this one is called Evolution. It's a loud one. It's definitely not one I've been on before. It's a really loud one, actually. This is a really different start as well to a uh, extreme ride. I don't know if I've ever been on one that starts like this. Most of them early. I don't know. It's different. Ah. Here we go. Right. Let's see what this has got. It does actually have a whole arm out, which is odd. It is definitely loud here as well, but um, oh, it's, been, uh, it's been picked up very quick. Oh. oh, no messing around. Absolutely no messing around with these. Oh, I can feel... Quick. That thing was proper quick. 
evolution was stunning, absolutely stunning. And here is the dance and smile ride. Look at this, though. it does look fantastic. Maybe I'm getting a newfound love for these. Maybe. Don't quote me on it. I do love the fact that I'm seeing more um, non over the shoulder restraint ones. I definitely can't do those, they hurt. Good bounce going on on those though. Not for me today this one, but again, a stunning looking frog. People are really, or showmen are really looking after these. They just get better and better every time we look at them. Look how high this one goes. Oh, that's really impressive. That thing has some proper, proper bounce to it. It really does. This is the fastest superstar we've ever been on. To be fair, Kurt didn't experience what we experienced back in the slow fair, where this thing sort of went ultrasonic. It is a fantastic ride. And there it goes. A really, really stunning superstar. We've featured this many, many times on the channel, including this year, to be honest. We've been on it this year. It is a stunning, stunning superstar. And when it picks up pace like that, it is absolutely insane. It really, really is. fun fairs there off to the Isle of Wight very shortly uh, for their Isle of Wight tour we have caught them there before we can look back on the channel when we've been over there to support them over there I uh, just I'm so tired I'm so knackered after such a long week uh, in Wales that um, I just can't do any more riding I don't have the boys with me unfortunately Cody still has a broken foot which is the reason why he's not here today and I'm really I'm a bit gutted I can't catch the fair earlier on but this is the earliest opportunity I've had to come down there's a cracking selection of rides here. Most of them we have seen before. We know they're cracking. You can go back on the channel and look at them, particularly on the Superstar. I love that Superstar. And I really wanted to come down to catch Wilson's um, Evolution Extreme because it's not one I've ridden. And there's very few rides around in fairness because I do travel up and down the country and have done for 25 plus years. You know, it's not, it's not new to me this. I've been on a lot of the rides, even if we've not long before we've documented them but that is one I hadn't been on I wanted to come down and ride we know the KMG speed is incredible we've been on that we absolutely love that one we know the other rides here are good they are just it's some stunning stunning examples and obviously the hosts of this do a fantastic job at bringing this together for Portsmouth every single year because it is the only one that's here every year so from Carnival Fun Fairs down here in South Sea I'm sorry it's not a bit longer um, it just yeah didn't know it was coming when I booked my holiday and to be honest I needed to take the kids on a on a break away from the rides and things or heavy rides because poor old Cody he can't go on anything but stunning ride selection we featured most of them on the channel before but I had to ride the extreme as I said hope you've enjoyed it I hope you've enjoyed the extreme was incredible so I enjoyed it absolutely loved it carnival fun fairs thank you very much and we'll see you next time